Hi, hello, and welcome everyone. This is another How To with Canoe, and today we are going to be going through Canva. Canva is a website that you can use to create Facebook posts, electronic invitations, really anything you want. So to get things started, head to whichever web browser you use and go up and type in the search bar canva.com. If you hit enter, it should take you right to the website, and if you've signed up, it'll automatically log you in and keep track of your previous designs. If you look on the left-hand side here, there's a create a design button, which is really exactly what we're here to do. So just go ahead and click on that. Since I've created some, it's given me some recommended posts, as well as you can see, it gives you social media posts, documents, you can create a whole bunch of stuff. For the sake of this, we're gonna click on Facebook post. It'll give you a whole bunch of options as to like a, a starting off point. You can see there's Christmas, there's sunsets, there's good luck, there's a buy me pizza and I'm yours, which is hilarious. And it gives you lots of free options. There are some pay for options, but there's a lot of free options here. So for me, I wanted to give the example of if I was creating something for a morning show here at Canoe FM. We call it Your Halliburton Mornings, so I figured let's go here with this nice sunset. And right out of the gate, just click on where the text box is, you'll be able to backspace and erase everything and come up with something clever to say. So for me, I came up with wake up with Canoe FM's Your Halliburton Morning. So you type that, it comes out. Then I wanted to change the sunset word here because obviously we're not gonna wake up with Canoe FM sunset. So I changed it to Your Halliburton Mornings, but as you can see, as I'm typing here, it is just far too large. But don't worry about that because we will adjust that. If you go over to the top and you can change the size of the font, and as you can see, the font is now much nicer to work with and we'll be able to move it around as needed. So I've moved it down. It meshes with the Wake Up With Canoe FM, but the font is a little off and it's kind of hard to read. So just highlight it, and then up in the top left corner of that screen, you can see you get a whole bunch of different fonts, and I just chose that one because it's easy to read. You can see it there. The next part of this is just kind of formatting it. You want to move things around so it, it grabs people's attention. It's not really convoluted to read. You can read it that it says, Wake up with Canoe FM's Your Halliburton Morning. The next step to this is you can go into text and I want to add a little bit more. I want to add the fact that uh, I'm going to be hosting it. So I just drag in where it says add subheading and then just like the other text box, you just backspace and get rid of the generic words that it says. And I wrote with Phil McCabe from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And as you can see, as I'm typing, the black looks nice in the sunset part, but as you get closer to the dock, it doesn't really it's hard to read it. You can't really see it. So what we do is much like when I was changing the font, I'll move it around. No, it doesn't really, it's still kind of hard to read because it, it blends in with the, the darks of the dock. So we highlight it and then go up to the top here where you see the color wheel and it tells you pick a color. And I'd like mine to match the color scheme of Canoe FM. But as you can see here, the orange really is, is difficult to see. So what we do here is we just highlight it, go back to up to where the color wheel is, and I'll match it to the other text in just pure white. Now, as you can see, that looks and feels a lot nicer. It's easier to read. It kind of pops with the darks of the dock and still manages to show you the prettiness of the sunset in the backdrop of the picture. So now, Really what you want to do is just kind of format it, move things around how you see fit, how you want your post to look. For me, I, I'm a person that's dedicated to kind of making sure everything's symmetrical, making sure that your Halliburton morning, wake up with Canoe FM is the focus of the picture. So next I went over to the search bar and I figured with this being a morning show, I just typed the word coffee because everyone wakes up with a cup of coffee. So as you can see, lots of free options. A lot of them are pictures, but some of them will be kind of clip art. 
that will look as though it's transparent, which is what we want here because we don't want a picture to be muddying up what we've started to create. So you just size it down to how big you would like it and you just move it around, try and pick where you want to put it. Me, I've just put it in this bottom left-hand corner here and it looks pretty good, but as you can see, the, the color doesn't quite mesh yet again because of the, the colors and green didn't really look right with it. A nice orange cup of coffee looks all right. So yeah, we'll go with that. And really, it's a matter of personal preference. So however you want to do this is up to you. You can play around with it. You can have fun with it. Look at all the different options you have. Some of them are pay for options, but that doesn't matter. So for me, I'm just kind of playing around with it at this point. I wanted to copy it, maybe see if another coffee cup will look nice. And to a certain extent, it does. But for the next while, I just kind of fiddled around with it, played with it, tried to see how things worked. So we'll flash forward to the end result, and I'll talk about that a little bit more. Well, as you can see here, I've gotten rid of the second coffee cup. I've added a couple words. Um, bottom left-hand side, you'll see that I wrote, listen live on 100.9, or on the bottom right side, I wrote, or at canoefm.com. The next step is to go up to the top right-hand side where you see download. Now this, you just click download, it says PNG is recommended, and I agree because PNGs are the smallest sized file and will be easiest to save, easiest to upload to Facebook and so on. So just go with PNG, it's recommended, it works, you don't really need anything else. Hold tight while it's preparing your design. This takes a couple minutes, takes a little bit, depending on how fast your computer is. Once your design is put together, it gives you what I want to do with the file. For me on my Mac, it gives me this window, but for you on PC, it'll look a little bit different, but you, what you want to do is save the file. Then you just click OK. Then next, it brings up the Save As window. You can change the name of it, whatever's gonna make it easiest for you to distinguish what it is. You click Save. Well, there you have it, folks. That was a quick look at how to use Canva.com to create a Facebook post. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can email me at phil at canoefm.com, or you can call the station at 705-457-1009. I'm more than happy to help you work through this. And by all means, just experiment with it. Just play with it. And above all else, have fun.